Well, good day and uh, greetings from Ottawa, Canada. By popular demand, uh, by popular I mean two of my viewers, I thought I'd do a short video just to kind of explain how I rig my Drascom Lugger Tika as a cutter with a bowsprit. Because uh, a lot of folks have asked me um, how that bowsprit is basically uh, connected to everything. Um, most of you probably know Drascom Luggers don't come stock with a bowsprit, uh, and nor do they have a boom on the main. Now mine happens to have a boom. Um, I find that uh, the combination of the cutter rig, uh, having that extra foresail, that Yankee, which is the sail up here at the very end of the, uh, of the sprit, and having the boom on the main helps me to uh, sail a little bit closer to the wind, and it also really helps my light air performance on this boat. Additionally, having a boom on the mainsail uh, is really useful for taming what they call the death roll when you're running in a strong breeze and the boat sometimes can have a tendency to start having a fairly alarming rocking motion side to side and it feels like you're, you're on the edge of getting out of control and you could easily broach in that kind of mode. So having a boom mainsail does help to tame that. Um, and so, uh, uh, of course, I always have the option of removing the boom and, and just, you know, sailing without... Uh, the boom as, as originally intended by the designer, but I like it. Now, just uh, in case you're wondering how my boom is attached, um, let me just turn. So, uh, I have this uh, little aluminum sleeve here that was made up with this, basically a, a bolt with a, a little clevis pin. And essentially at the end of my boom, I have this gooseneck. So it's just a pivoting um, little hardware feature. So as you can imagine, that slips into the... Um, uh, this pin here and it's held that way to the boom. I'm not going to install it because uh, I think you get the idea I wanted to really focus today on the um, on the sprit itself. So this sprit happens to be a, uh, a, a, a Boom from a, an, another sailing dinghy and it's got a t-section and the t-section helps the the, the sprit have a, a lot of lateral side-to-side -side stability so all I really need is a, a, a simple bob stay which I tension, you can see this line here, it's clipped to the, the bow eye on the boat, goes through this block, and then to tension this, I just kind of pull on the on this bobstay line and just put it in this jam cleat and tie it off around the sprit at this end. And uh, I've never found that there's any issue in terms of not having the, the, the side to side or the, the horizontal support on this thing. It's fairly stiff, I think, in large part because of this T-section. Um, in terms of the end fixture, if you're interested in seeing the detail on that, you can see that my, uh, my Yankee sail comes into one of those cute little uh, dinghy furlers. Works quite well. And um, there's this uh, kind of improvised bronze strapping to hold everything together. My regular um, jib is basically also on a, on, on a little dinghy furler and it's simply held to this uh, bronze uh, uh, what would you call that stem piece by a bolt and, and a couple of nuts now how the sprit itself is attached to the boat there are two attachment points one here on the bronze stem piece and here aft on the mast so on the mast you can see there is basically a, a, a little uh, bracket and again a nut with a, a wing nut pretty little bronze piece of hardware and uh, that's basically what holds the boom at this end of the mast. It also helps to support the mast somewhat. And for the actual attachment point here forward, what I use is, uh, I used to have a bolt with a nut, but I found it was kind of a pain. So all I have is one of these little pins that slides in there. So there is a hole in the bronze hardware that goes through a hole in the sprit. And this is one of these, uh, let me see if I can show you here. This is, I don't know what they call these pins, it's one of these little pins with a little ball and, and, and spring right here. And that's all that's basically needed to keep it, keep it in place. I've never had a problem with losing it and it's really simple to, uh, to get on and off there. So it takes maybe an extra five minutes at the, at the ramp to, to attach all this paraphernalia, but I, I really find it's worthwhile. Plus, uh, hey, I think the boat looks darn good with it all. So she really looks dressed up, but she really does perform well. It's more than just an affectation. It really does help improve my light air performance. 
Of course, I have a mizzen. I didn't bother putting it up because this mizzen goes up the way they all do. So um, that's it. So that's my uh, my little Drascom lugger and how she's rigged. And uh, hope uh, you enjoyed this.